In this video we'll illustrate the use of the trace marker tool called Sonar. So this is Sonar running in an Internet Explorer browser. You can run it from any browser that supports JavaScript and you can see that you can get the tool directly from http www.tribelab.com sonar.html Any desktop that has internet access can actually get access to this tool. Now the tool sends a marker into network trace data and actually um, can be used to mark logs such as web logs. So in this case, we have a system here called Contoso. Um, it's a fictional um, system for a university. And the users here are complaining that intermittently they experience hangs. Now the trouble is that if we've got network traces set up, long-term network traces from uh, using either something like DumpCap or using uh, long-term capture units such as Infinistream, NetShark, Gigastore, etc., then although we can extract the data around the period that the user reports the problem, ideally what we want to know is exactly at what point did the user experience that problem. And this is what Sonar gives you. So let's have a look how I've got this set up in terms of network captures. So here's the Internet Explorer running in the user's PC. I'm capturing everything going uh, into this wide area network. And then I've got another capture point, the other side of the wide area network, and a web server that's running uh, both the web interface and the application, and then a back-end database server. So let's go back to our actual system. And so what I'm going to do is demonstrate the issue. So if I click, you can see that the system is quite responsive oh, until we do that, where it's now slow. So that took some time to uh, respond. So let's send one marker there. And then I'm going to keep using the system. And it's hung again. And this time it appears for a much longer period than the first time. And so I'll get ready over here to send the marker again. And you can imagine that if this is happening in a live environment, so let's just click the marker. If this was happening in a live environment, it would be quite easy to ask the user to click on this send marker button. Now we don't, with the sonar marker, we don't have to display all of this dialogue information. In fact, you can specify an option in the marker that shrinks the whole window down to just show the send button. Um, so um, it's, uh, we don't have to worry about the user having to interact with this dialogue. So we've now experienced the problem twice. We've got two markers. You can see here's a log of the markers. We have one, um, let's expand that out actually. We have one where we've uh, got a distinctive string of A7 and we've also got a marker number. In this case, we've got marker one, which happened at 1449.51 and then marker two, uh, slightly later. So we have those two markers in our network traces. In the next installment of the videos, I will show you how to find those markers and then how to interpret the data around them.